RC system for all-terrain track chair. Overview of functionality of the RC system. 12 volt automotive battery. Receiver. This is a voltage regulator right here. This drops the voltage from 12 volt down to 5.9 to feed the receiver and all of the servos. I've added a capacitor into the system here. It's a glitch buster. Without it, the large servos like this will act erratically when trying to run the system. Then over here is a transmitter. And next, we'll turn on the system and go through the functions for each channel and switch. And this board will demonstrate that actual functionality. I've labeled everything on the board, but in case you can't see it clearly, these two servos here act as the simulating the linear servos that will drive the hydrostatic pumps to serve as direction. When they both move forward, that will be for forward, both back for backwards. When you want to turn right, this one will go forward, this one will come back to neutral or go in reverse. For turning left, this one will go forward, and this one will come back to neutral or back if you're going forward. Um, over here, we have master ignition for the engine. So right now it is on, it is a three position switch. So in the center is on, off is to either side, and so that way you can bump the switch either way and the motor will shut off. Here we've got the throttle. This one right here is for the parking brake. This switch is for the PTO. This is the receiver. This servo right here is doing two functions. When it swings this way, it activates a momentary switch for the preheat for the diesel engine. When the servo swings this way, it activates a switch to run the starter, to start the motor. This servo right here is activating two double pole switches, and those switches would then control the linear actuators, not servos, for the ramp up and down. So when the servo moves this way, it brings both switches to run the, the linear actuators up. When the servo swings this way, it runs the linear actuators down, and when it's in the center, it's off. Okay, next we'll go to functionality. Functionality. First step, turn the transmitter on. It does a check. If, for some reason, the throttle, which is here, is in the wrong position, it will send a warning to bring the throttle to idle before turning on the system. Once the transmitter is on, then turn the receiver system on. You'll notice a green light here that the receiver has correctly armed. Now we'll go through the actual functions of the sticks. We've got the two main sticks here. This stick will be for forward, reverse, left, right. This stick is for the throttle and it will do the, some of the other functions. Then we've got some switches that we're gonna use this one and this one, this one, and this one back here. So now let's go through and demonstrate the functionality. So to go forward, those servos come forward. To go back, servos go backwards. If you want to do hard left, the right servo goes forward, the left servo goes back. This would be a left turn, spinning around in a circle. To do a right turn, spinning around, full right, the left servo comes forward, the right servo goes backwards. If you're going full speed ahead and you want to make a turn to the left, the right servo stays full. The left servo uh, comes back to neutral. This would be, this would allow you to do a gradual turn to the left. 
same thing to the right. Also in reverse. And you can see if we go really fast, it will move. Okay, so that's our directional control. Uh, next thing, if we want to start the engine, we would bring this switch over here to preheat. It activates the momentary switch. When we're ready to do the starter, we swing it the other way, and it activates this momentary switch to run the starter. Release, and it comes back to the middle. Here is our throttle, right here, going from idle to full. And then we've got up here our master ignition that is here. This is a just a two position switch. And when the servo is in that position, um, it's on. If we swing this switch to either here or here, the switch goes to off. And so that's a safety feature that if uh, there's ever an, an emergency, it's very easy to pop the switch whichever way your hand goes. Then uh, we've got uh, for ramp. Um, when we're on the machine, we don't want to move the ramp. The switch stays in the center. If we want to go uh, down, move the switch up until the ramp is down to where we want it to, then we bring it back to center. Want to go up with the ramp, move the switch this way, ramp goes up until where we're up as far as we want to go. There are limit switches within the linear actuators, so it doesn't matter if you leave the switch in that position, but when you're done, bring it back to center is best. This small switch right here is for the PTO. Oh, this switch. PTO is off, PTO is on. And the PTO will be activated by the electric clutch is already on the diesel engine coming from a zero turn mower. So this is a simple electric switch to activate that clutch. Down here we have the parking brake. We'll need to release the parking brake. That is a simple on off. This will be in a linear servo. And that will allow us to easier adjust the the throw on it for the parking brake. So that covers the full functionality of the radio system. Again, here's throttle. There's our directional control. Next up, demonstrating what happens if the glitch buster capacitor is not in the system. So demonstrating what the radio system does without the glitch buster capacitor in there, I have unplugged that right here. That goes right over to the capacitor. And what happens is these large servos draw too much juice at one time for the wires in the system to handle coming through the receiver. Um, so what the capacitor does is stores enough electrical energy to power up the servo and keep the receiver from browning out. But if we don't have that on, transmitter is already on, turn it on, and you can see we don't have a green light there. We do kind of, now we do. But then it will error out at a position and it will just continue to do that as we try to move around. Um, this would be a very bad situation if you were driving it. Um, so we need to have a capacitor within the system. These large servos will be probably used for the throttle control and potentially a few other switches like this switch up here for on the actual system. There, the capacitor is plugged back in. System turns on and immediately homes. Receiver has our nice green light right there. And you can see we've got our full 
functionality just the way we should. You'll notice this one is moving slower. That is a setting within the radio to move those functions slower. I've also slowed down the function of these giant servos. And you can see how the whole system works once again. Turn off the receiver side, turn off the transmitter.